How's everybody doing? This is Sully138, and I got my favorite, favorite pack opening. It's the it's the uh, most wonderful time of the year because we got the uh, promo packs, the all gold, all rare. This is the best promo packs to open. If anybody's ever undecided about what packs to open, I'm telling you, fuck the gold packs, screw the other promo packs, wait for the all gold, all rare packs to come out because you're guaranteed at least one quality player per pack. Uh, that's how I look at it, and uh, none of these packs seem to disappoint me. I can't. I, I don't. I don't know. Maybe there was one pack in this video I didn't really land anybody too spectacular, but uh, other than that, uh, we did pretty good. And and this Corey Perry was the first uh, pack to pop up, and this was a good way to uh, start out a pack opening because the player that we land is a player that I got rid of uh, when he was introduced the first time around for Team of the Week. This is his second time being on Team of the Week, and I'm excited to grab him, and not for not for to, uh, any reasons to put him in my lineup. Because I've already experienced him. I know how he plays for me. And he's not a type, the type of player that fits for me. But he will benefit me in like a trade day video or auction wise. And you'll see it right there. It's the Hot Live Jeff Skinner from Carolina. Um, uh, probably the better, one of the better sniper um, cards to have because of his all around ratings. He's, he's got a, a good solid all, all around game. It's just. Um, you know, to actually, to be honest with you, I put him in the lineup yesterday, and it was the first time I was able to, like, he, he really came through for me. Um, just just in passing situations, and he scored a key goal for me. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll experience it, just uh, just work with him a little bit more. But I think that's all I'm really going to get out of him because it, that always seems to happen. Anytime I pick up a key player, he seems to do really well the first game. And then, like, after that, it's just, like, it, it, it's really nothing too spectacular for me. So I have a hard time holding on to players that, that have a, a somewhat value to them and, and doesn't produce for me. So that's that's when I usually use them for trade trade bait or or, uh, or uh, auction to help me pick up another player that I actually like. The next player we have up on the pack is uh, Pavel Datsuk. And... Um, this guy came up through me big. And this is the first time Datsuk has, has came up for me big. We land two key players in this pack. Unfortunately, when I did this live, the audio shit out on me. So I have to fucking talk to you guys for 19 minutes. And that's a challenge. That's a challenge and a half. Let's see. So there we go. We got we got a set of Gucci and uh, Backstrom. That's the card I was looking for. We got uh, Nicholas Backstrom from the Capitals. And um, it was awesome because I thought about picking up Backstrom again. I only used Backstrom once in this game uh, for Hockey Ultimate Team. And he produced two goals and two assists. He had a four-point game. And I ended up getting rid of him after because I just I had an opportunity to grab Patrice Bergeron at the time. And I used um, – I had Dustin Bufflin. Um, I think it was just a regular Bufflin gold card. And I traded Bufflin – for Patrice Bergeron and um, and some pucks, so Backstrom didn't have uh, there was there was no room in my lineup for Backstrom at the time. This was a long time ago. This is probably around the beginning of the game. Um, I was I like that uh, Patrick Parento, but I already have him, so I just I, I ended up quick selling all the card the low tier lower tier gold cards because if I'm not going to use them, there's no point to have them in my collection. I'm not a guy who likes to build teams and stuff like that and, and look for the bonus puck collection unless I was like actually working with somebody to do it, and I've never done that before. Um, it's hard to find somebody to do that with because you got to use um, most of the time you got to use collateral, and I'm afraid I won't get my players back. Uh, just for a, sp a specific team, you know what I mean, and uh, it, it's just hard to trust people in this community sometimes. But so the next, the next guy we got is Claude Giroux on the cover. Uh, I think this is the card the Giroux. I think this is the one that provides two decent players for me. Let's see. Let's let's go Giroux. I like that Giroux went to classic card that's out right now. Uh, yeah, this is it. Tyler Myers and David Krejci in the same pack. And I was excited to get Krejci back. We got rid of Krejci during a trade day. And uh, Tyler Myers, that's, that, I already have a Myers in my lineup. So it was nice. I was able to use it uh, to grab some pucks in the auction house and uh, grab some players that I wanted. And I can't wait to give you guys a team update. I went I went a little ballistic this week and, and uh, picked up a lot of players to add to my team, add some depth, add some new starters, and, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, I went crazy over the weekend, guys, last weekend. Um, this was a short promo, too. I I was looking all weekend for promos, and I found this promo Sunday night, and it was already gone the next morning when I went to uh, 
when I went to buy some more packs. And luckily, it wasn't there anymore because I got to tell you, this is the first time I've really gotten in trouble for buying a lot of packs because these were the seven ninety nine a piece with the season ticket. So um, I bought a lot of them, guys. And um, my wife wasn't too thrilled about that. I don't blame her, you know. It's, it's like... It's like I work hard for nothing, you know what I mean? I just blow it all on fucking virtual hockey players. It's kind of stupid, but it's my passion too, you know. I love I love this game and and uh I love I just I love opening packs. You know, you land that player that it's it's always unexpected what's going to happen with these packs. You always think they're going to be a bust and then you get that major surprise and, and land a, like a hot live Skinner or or a, or a Gold Rick Nash or whatever, you know. I, I was I've been very fortunate this year. The packs have were really good to me at the beginning of this game, and then they just – it's come to a point where I don't think I'm going to buy any more packs unless it's these all gold, all rare promos because I've bought now the promo packs, and they've just been – with the exception of landed that Ryan Suter Movember card, I really haven't landed anything spectacular, you know, and it's just been a, a complete waste of money. So I think I'm totally done with pack openings unless these all gold, all rare comes out again, and we might not see one for another couple months. Who knows? You know, we'll see. Um, I want you guys to let me know. Uh, did, did any of you guys open up these uh, promo packs? And what 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 was the big what was your big score in these promo packs? Let me know in the comment section. And um, trade day is coming this weekend, guys. I promise you, it's coming. Um, I've been holding off because I, you know my lineups always changing, my team's always changing, so I'm always experiencing players and, and uh, seeing who I want to keep and see who's not working out. And uh, I haven't been getting rid of anybody. I've been saving them up for the trade day, and, and uh, we're gonna have um, the, the trade day is gonna even be bigger and better than the last time. So I hope hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Uh, I didn't even really see what we landed. I think it was just a hot live garrison, nothing too spectacular. Um, so what's your plan? What, uh, I don't know what I'm doing for Christmas. Oh, um, I did find an Xbox One, guys. It should be arriving on my doorstep today. Uh, I, I I was looking all over the place. Uh, look, I, I checked every retail store in the Boston area within a 20-mile radius, calling all of them up, being like, you got an Xbox One, I got an Xbox One, and then, and then taking a shot in the dark and asking them if they got a PS4. And everybody was like, no, 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 no. It sold out, sold out, sold out. So I went on BestBuy.com, and, and it was just like, you know, I went on there knowing I was going to be disappointed not find anything, and they had a bunch of Xbox One consoles. I couldn't even believe it. My only options, though, was to buy an Xbox One with just a controller or an Xbox One with a controller and a 12-month Xbox Live uh, subscription or a uh, Call of Duty Ghost bundle with two controllers and Xbox Live subscription. And I'm not too crazy about Call of Duty Ghost. Um, it's really no different than the last-gen Call of Duty Ghost. It really isn't. IGN put it best when they said it, it, the only difference is really is night and day. And there you see we got a Pascal Dupuis uh, Winter Classic card. And I'm pretty excited. I love these Winter Classic cards. They look, they're, they're the best looking cards I've seen yet um, compared to the HFC cards and the um, Movember cards. And I landed a bunch of Classic cards in these openings. So I was pretty excited. Um, so, But it, it was the only bundle that they had. They didn't have any Battlefield 4 bundles. They didn't have the Dead Rising 3 and 4 as a bundle. So... I went ahead and got the Call of Duty Ghost Bundle because it was kind of pointless just to buy the the console without a game, you know, because you want something to play it on. So it should be arriving on my doorstep today. But Best Buy kind of tricked me, man. Like, you know, when you're buying a Call of Duty Ghost Bundle, you're expecting to get everything in that bundle. But they shipped me the controller two days ago, so I have one controller. And they're shipping the Xbox Live subscription card separate and the Ghost game separate. So I could end up with the console today, the subscription tomorrow, and Ghost the next day you know what i mean it's fucking stupid I, I didn't understand why they didn't just actually send me the actual bundle but that they played me man that, and that's what i get for shopping online but but i, I was able to get a, a next gen console and experience next gen gaming while i can until i uh until i grab my ps4 so i'm pretty excited um i didn't even see who was on the last pack cover who is this oh claude Giroux. oh this is a good pack opening i think well no we already did the tyler myers and david creechie right yeah, I think so. So Christmas is coming up. I'm really excited, guys. Um, we did really well this year. My kids, my kids always have a phenomenal Christmas, and uh, and it's always special this time of year for me with my kids because I grew up poor. You know, um, there was Christmases when my mom would tell me that you know we found out real early that like early in age that Santa wasn't real. Like we're talking about four or five years old, you know, and it's because my mother was so poor that she'd tell us that we might not even have a Christmas, you know. 
and and prepare us so we weren't disappointed on Christmas morning. And uh, you know, and it didn't like we we weren't we didn't cry over it. We weren't you know you're disappointed as a kid because you want to wake up Christmas morning like every other kid in the world, you know. And and uh, but um. You know, but for some reason, she always managed to come through, and and whether it's church donations or whatever, we always managed to open up something for Christmas. So uh, I never wanted my kids to to um to be in that situation. So, you know, we always we've always hooked them up every Christmas more than we should have. You know, and, and it's and it's it's always like come to the point where we're, where we um really really got to settle down and and pay attention to bills and all that stuff because after the Christmases we give to our kids, and um. I remember one Christmas, like um, when my mom said that I was about nine years old, and and um, we end up getting like a church donation for Christmas. So like it's all like you know socks, underwear, but not, nothing, nothing major, no toys or nothing, you know. And if there were toys, you were like uh, like four years older than 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 what the toy was intended to be for. Like you know, say if I was nine, the toy was really intended to be for like a five year old. You know what I mean? So I remember, um, you know, but it was, it was, it was, it is what it is. You were still excited because it was still, you were able to rip open some wrapping paper and you just, you were just grateful to wake up with something, you know? And then, uh, I remember my dad picked me up later that day and brought me to his house and, um, he had a few gifts under the tree and, um, he, he gave me the first gift and I ripped it open. It was a hockey bag full of hockey equipment. And I was like, wow, this is the best Christmas ever, you know? And then he gave me something else. I forget. Oh, it was uh, inline skate, so I can do uh, roller hockey, street hockey out in the basketball courts in the neighborhood. And uh, it was it, it was like a hockey Christmas. It was awesome. And then and that, then he he after opening up all the gifts, we ate some food. And he's like, oh, I forgot about this. And he gave it to me, and I ripped it open. It was a brand new uh, uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. And that's when Nintendo was a couple years old. And I was like, holy shit! And he got me. Um, it came with the Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, and then uh, he got me Blades of Steel, and it was and uh, that was my favorite hockey game of all time. And I used to love ice hockey because you didn't have uh, all like uh, NHL wasn't around back then, you know. The only hockey games you had was the ice hockey was with the three players, and I always have the lineup with the skinny player, the small player, and the fat guy who had the wicked slap shots, <laughs> you know. And then um, and then when Blades of Steel came out, you thought it was like the most incredible game ever you thinking g video games couldn't get any better than this and then today you have nhl uh 14 which is just mind-blowing you know what i mean and um I just, and it ended up turning around to be the best christmas i've ever had you know it's just it was it was weird how it worked out like that you know it's i don't know christmas i'm always flooded with memories of just like the struggle and, and survival of growing up when i was a kid you know and uh I don't know. I I hope everyone everyone here has a wonderful holiday, and I hope you guys. I ho I really hope you guys have a, a an amazing uh, holiday this year. Whether you know, you celebrate Christmas or not, or if you're Jewish or, or whatever, you know. Just I, I hope everyone has a great holiday this winter, and I wouldn't. I, I just wish everybody here the best, and and um, and I'm really looking forward to my kids uh, waking up for Christmas this year. Man, I'm getting all boring. I have to try to fill up this video 19 minutes of time with these pack openings. Oh, I opened up a center pack because I was like, I'm not going to buy any more promo packs. I'm not going to buy any more promo packs. And I keep buying them and buying them. This is what got me in trouble, guys, you know. So it's it's like, no joke, $7.99 a pack, you know. And I really didn't, you know, the Hot Life Skinner and the Tyler Myers and the Krejci and and, uh, and and the Winter Classics uh, guys that I opened, it really didn't amount to how much I spent <laughs> opening up these packs, you know. I'm really, I'm really uh, curious to see what some of you guys landed, and um, and if you landed any key guys, save them up, save them up for the trade day video this weekend. If you don't plan on keeping them, you know, because you never know. Uh, let's see. The one card I wish I didn't get rid of was the Hot Live Joffrey Lupul, because he doesn't cost that much compared to other Hot Live cards, but he's such a clutch player, and I would, I really want to grab him back. And I almost picked him up again over the weekend, but I don't know. And I tried editing this video to make it shorter, but it keeps getting corrupted. And I really didn't want to, uh, I really didn't want you guys to miss out on these openings. So I just gave you the uh, uncut copy with uh, with my boring ass talking over it. So we got Carey Price next on the cover. Let's go, Price. 
so weird when I watch these videos over again after recording them. It's like it's like opening the packs all over again. It's like I'm surprised again because I forget who I end up picking up. I'm like, oh, I did pick up that guy. I gotta put it on NHL uh, 14 right now on my console. Get it ready for the team update. And uh, maybe I can talk about who I'm gonna put in. Uh, oh, look at that! There's the Mike Green Winter Classic, and uh, the other one I think is uh, England. I think. Yeah. So we got two Winter Classics in there. Not a bad pack. You got Alexander Steen, Wazinski, Vor is that Voracek? That's a beast pack right there. I didn't even realize I scored that Voracek again. That, that no joke. That's like the eighth Voracek I opened in a pack. But the only the only uh, downfall to it is the the price goes down significantly every time I open one. Let's see. Would do, well, all right. So my question is: Do you guys do you guys like enjoy watching the GM modes where people create their teams and and do the um the trades and all that stuff and and simulate the seasons? Because if so, I do that all the time. I just I just don't know if it's something you guys would want to watch. You know, um, another thing I like doing is the NHL live moments. Um, and and uh, I wanted to do live the life, and I was thinking about doing the goalie because I suck at playing goalie, so I thought it'd be just fun. To watch me flip out, but I don't know how how, how you guys would feel watching me playing goalie because it, it could be boring, you know. Um, oh, I'm so excited to have that Mike Green. I already got the Mike Green Hot Live. It's the same exact ratings, but um. I'm gonna. I think I'm actually gonna keep both of them though this time. Usually when I get a player from uh, like a specialty card, even though I have the other one that's the exact rating, I usually get rid of them. But I just like the look of both cards. And my Mike Green, I feel like I would jinx myself if I got rid of the Hot Live one because he's been playing so good for me. I have him paired up with um, Ryan Suter, and they've just been been a, a solid line defensive line for me and the other line that's been really working out for me is uh seabrook and and uh the gold seabrook and the hot live yandel yandel is a beast like i i switched him to a, a right defenseman and uh, i switched seabrook to a left defenseman so i could set them up for the one-timer and yandel's been getting some key shots from the point for me with the one-time slapper and we been getting some awesome goals from it whether it's deflected off somebody else or or it just like whizzes through people in traffic and, and he gets the goal untouched, you know what I mean? Alright. It's loading, 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 loading. Who's this? Oh yeah, Adams. That's the other one to classic card. Oh, this is the last pack, guys. So I get a what is the stop button? There we go. I keep, I keep ashing him. I'm going to boost him up and put him on the ice. <laughs> this should be fun. That duration card. I forget how you, how, who I used the duration on. Yeah, so that's the end of the pack openings. I'm just going to stop this part now, and I'm going to bring you guys to the team update, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, we're, got, we're back, guys. So let me bring you to my team. Look at the Winter Classic cards. Look, look at that Lundqvist. That'd be beautiful. All right, my team. I'm really excited. All right, let me move my keyboard and set down my microphone so I can uh, shuffle through the lineup for you guys. So this is a brand new card that I picked up, Pavelski, in auction. I picked up this Eller in auction recently, too. Um... Let's see. There's the Skinner that we opened up in the pack in the Krejci. Um, I picked up this Ryder, uh, Michael Ryder, in auction as well. I opened up that Ribeiro in a pack. Um, and I just picked up Boyle in auction. I'm going to uh, put two plus five balls on him in a 15-day duration and, and uh, move him up to the first two lines. Uh as suggested by other YouTubers, I heard he's a, f a fucking beast in this game when you jack him up on durations and trainings, training and durations. All right, and on the bottom here, um, Headman I opened up in a pack recently. Actually, as you, I think you guys seen it, we opened up two of them in a row, two packs in a row. We got a Headman. Um, 
there's more. Whoop, let me go to any. Okay, so his, uh, I just picked him up in a pack yesterday. Um, so these are all new, these Winter Classic cards. And I, I can't wait to try uh, this one out. 87, 87, 86, 89, 88. Mike Green, England. So those are all the ones we opened up in packs. This is the Harrison we opened up in pack. I just got Loophole in the pack. Um, this is the Backstrom we opened. I haven't boosted. And I'm probably going to put him in my next game. Alsner I picked up in auction because I needed a Winter Classic player for the Winter Classic tournament. I just needed one player in the lineup. So I, I picked him up in auction for, Jesus, I think it was 20K. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys Marshawn already. I, I, I picked him up in auction. Um... Phil Kessel's brand new. I picked him up in auction. I paid about, I don't know, I think it was like 95 k for him or something like that. He's been phenomenal for me too. Scored two goals in one game. Marshawn had two goals in that game as well. That was the It was a game that I lost. Marshawn, James Neal, and Mike Green to injury. And uh, more than nine games apiece for them. It was shitty. But I still won the game 7-3. I should post that game. Um, who else? Oh, I picked up Krug again uh, in auction for like uh, 7.5K or something like that, 7.5. Uh, just wanted him again. I had him already. I got rid of him, but I want him again, and I'm going to uh, boost him up because he's a lot of fun to play with, and uh, and I, I love using him in, on the power play and uh, and on my first line when he's boosted. Uh, oh, Burns, is, I just picked him up uh, yesterday and uh, always wanted him. And I already had Luchik and James Neal, but always wanted to try Burns. I couldn't find the Movember one. The Movember card is what I really wanted, but uh, I just picked up the gold one for now. Um... Let's see. Callahan's new pickup. I remember asking you guys in the last video, uh, how, how was that Callahan hot live card, if, if he was worth it. I didn't get any feedback, so I just went ahead and picked him up and see how he was. Um, I haven't tried him on his regular um, ratings, but I tried him boosted on training and durations, and he plays like a beast. So uh, it was pretty good, but like I, I can't wait for it to wear off. I think, yeah, he's only got four games left. I had a 15-day on him. So I can't wait till it wears out and see how he plays on his regular ratings. And that's all she wrote. And these are the cards I kept. Ashim and Hanzus. Just because they're the big big guys that can hurt you. And uh, just want to see how they play with um, training and durations on them. And that's it. Uh, let's see. Did I, sh did I pick up any new goalies? I don't think so. Yeah, that's it. So, that's the team update for you guys. Um, and the trade day's coming. And uh, hopefully hopefully within the next... Uh, what's, what's today? Today's Wednesday, right? So, hopefully a, a trade day video will be up on Friday. And then... Um, and then I'll let the trade run through Sunday and then accept trades on Sunday. So I uh, look forward to this Friday and, and I'll have it together for you guys. Even if I got to stay up all night and put it together, I will. So uh, I, I appreciate everybody. You guys have been phenomenal for me. Uh, I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Um, you, you guys are in a, um, you guys are with a great 
great group of guys here and uh, and gals. I just noticed I got a a, a a lady that subscribed to me as well. So I hope everyone um, has a phenomenal day. Uh, it, it snowed a lot last night here in Boston. If you're New England, drive safe. It's really cold out, so that snow's going to freeze. And uh, I'll be talking to you guys all soon. So I'll definitely be talking to you before the holidays. And uh, we'll see you soon. This is Sully138. Peace out.